guys, Dumelang and welcome back to Senchik. So in today's episode, we are going to be speaking about perfume oils. I've literally never covered perfume oils on my channel. However, I've actually been looking to get more into fragrance oils and I've been using a couple for a couple of months right now. So I feel like I know what I'm talking about, okay? So in today's episode, we're going to be covering a South African-based company called Impression Oils and I'm going to tell you all about it, okay? And I'm going to plug you guys because I actually feel like you guys need to know. You guys really need to know about these products because I okay so first and foremost I'm going to actually tell you guys what perfume oils are because they actually are different from your typical regular regular like fa 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 type of fragrances right and the main difference is that obviously the one contains alcohol which is like your typical perfumes that you buy from the shop it contains alcohol right they're alcohol based fragrances compared to like these ones that I'm gonna be highlighting today which are just perfume oils now the thing with your uh, regular regular fragrances is that in as much as they contain alcohol they also do contain a concentration of perfume oil inside of it so of course depending on how much perfume oil is in the the alcohol based fragrance that will actually speak to how potent it will be and how good quality it's going to be however at the end of the day it's still going to dissipate it's still going to evaporate and all that because that's just the nature of alcohol when alcohol mixes with oxygen it's going to like you know literally pull a disappearing act on you you know <laughs> versus perfume oils uh, where you literally just get to have a longer longevity only because it's less prone to evaporating very quickly compared to your regular regular traditional fragrances so that's like the main difference of course right if you've used perfume you know what I'm talking about okay you know that the thing is actually going to fade away as you know hours go by right yeah <laughs> so that's like the main difference i quickly wanted to tell you guys what it is before we get into the product and i'm gonna quickly show you guys my favorite favorite products from this company and what i would recommend from uh, to you guys if you have the taste that i have so let's get into the products so i have four perfume oils from impression oil and also i wanted to highlight that impression oil the reason why it's called impression oil is because they actually create perfume oils that are inspired by very popular niche and designer fragrances so this is basically like an interpretation of the perfumes that you guys know and love okay and i also think one of the cool things about products like this is that you get to be able to experience the scent you know like a scent of maybe like something that you really really like but you cannot afford it because we all know fragrances cost an arm and a leg and this is like a fraction of that price and like i said you get the same vibe and it lasts longer and I think I love the fact that you can use these in so many different ways, which I am going to show you as we keep going into the video. So, as I said, I have four fragrance oils or perfume oils from this company, and I have one called Gucci Oud. Then the next one is uh, Black Saffron from Byredo. Byredo is a niche perfume company, and as we all know, niche fragrances are so expensive, more expensive than designer perfumes because they tend to be made with more refined ingredients ingredients and then uh, we have pure poison which of course by Dior and this is an impression oil of girl of now by Elisab which is literally my favorite one I am obsessed with this thing literally I don't know if you guys can tell but there's like this much left I've used up this entire bottle which you're probably gonna be like girl how the hell did you use up this entire thing when it's so concentrated but it's me if you know the Elisab girl of now fragrance you definitely would have an idea of this of what this smells like because it definitely has the elements of Elisab up girl of now for sure i would honestly say i would say that the the similarity is like a solid like 90 to 95 percent similarity like i i actually feel like they did a really really good job with trying to recreate the same profile of that fragrance i love it so much that i need to actually get another bottle because like i said i've used this one up and this will actually last on your skin i think that's one of the things that i love about perfume oils is that it actually lasts on your skin like a good six hours you can smell this on your skin for many hours I actually got ready like in the afternoon it's nighttime right now and I can still smell the fragrance on me so I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I well let me show you guys how you guys are advised 
to use the product and then I'll show you what I do <laughs> with the product right and I think that the size is actually perfect because I feel like because of how concentrated something like this is you don't need like a huge ass bottle of it okay so yeah let's get into how you guys can actually use the product right so of course as you guys know you have to spray fragrances or just put fragrances on your pulse points of course so that is over there and over here and then of course you can put it at the back of your what you might call of your your ears or your neck whatever that place is called and then you can actually put it on your collarbones and another thing i like doing is like putting it right there and like under my boobs because like you sweat over there like the reason why there are specific spots on your body you can put fragrances on and you know you know they will perform is because those places on your body are the places that actually generate a lot of heat and then the perfume just starts dispersing and dispersing you know what i'm saying and of course you can put it behind your knees which is something that i do because of course once again that place is more prone to being warm compared to like basically the front part of your leg you get what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah so that's how i use it however let me show you guys what i actually do this is something i've been doing for months now i got my handy dandy shave butter okay if you know anything about shea butter you know that it literally smells like the earth okay it smells earthy nutty like it, it, it's not the best smell ever so what i do when i get ready is that i will scoop up some shea butter and then i will do this and then i do that and i will just put it on and that way you get to actually have the perfume all over your body without you actually like rolling it all over your body that's just something i do because i am extra <laughs> and i did that today again and i actually asked my brother like if he could smell me and he could he was like literally standing like five feet away from me and he could smell me and i think that speaks to the quality of the product as well which is kind of shocking because a lot of times perfume oils tend to be something that people can only smell when they're like like right next to you because they are more of an intimate product you know it's like it's for you it's basically designed for you to be able to smell it and of course people around you but the people have to be you know relatively close to you to be able to smell you so the fact that he could smell me and he was like literally standing like five feet away from me said a lot but of course like i said i use this thing like a maniac i think regular regular people do not do what i do with perfume okay so i don't know if that helps you but that's just something that i do only because um what i use does not have the most amazing smell one of my favorite things about this is that i can actually like wear this when i'm going to sleep and it's not going to choke me out you can wear this on like very like intimate settings as well like dates things like that perfect absolutely perfect for the office because once again perfume oils if you apply you know a reasonable amount okay not like me <laughs> if you apply a reasonable amount it's not gonna choke people around you it's not gonna like choke them out or whatever so i think something like this is perfect for work so if you are like me and you love smelling sweet then i would definitely recommend you get the girl of now by ellie sub impression i actually want to try out um their other sweeter fragrances because I realized that I just gravitate towards being like smelling sweet all the time um, compared to other scent profiles which is why this is the one I used more than the other ones right so yes as I said if you like smelling sweet I mean you've watched my channel before if you haven't go watch my other videos from the segment and you'll see the type of taste I have in fragrances so and like I said if you like the girl of now the original Elisa girl of now but you can't afford that I would recommend this I think it's really really great something like this is also really perfect for date nights in my opinion because Okay, I'm not going to get into all of that, but like if you are over 18, you know, you know, you, you just know. Please don't apply this down there, please. That's a dis disclaimer. Don't, don't put this down there, like please. <laughs> okay, so with these ones, these are the ones that I have not gotten through because I've seen that like I would actually either A, prefer these on other people or I would prefer wearing these if I was like out and about because they're a lot more heavier than that. First of all, okay, I think if you've watched my videos before, you've heard me say that I love oud i really really love oud which is why i wanted to try this and between these two this is actually the one i prefer uh, the most this is definitely very concentrated it's so strong and which is why i'm saying that i would prefer to wear something like this if i was actually like gonna be outside like i'm gonna be out and about and not just you know chilling inside the house because a little bit of this goes a long way this is the gucci oud and 
I feel like if you are a person who uh maybe you want to try out oud however you don't want to commit to like the actual perfumes that are very expensive and whatnot then try something like this out you get to have the feel and the whole vibe of the 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 scent without you maybe committing to a, bi a bigger bottle and one of the things that i love about products like this is that you can layer something like this you know let's say maybe i could mix my girl of now and mix it with the gucci oud just to add a little bit of sweetness to the to the oud i really i really like this it smells really good it smells like a a person with money who's well dressed <laughs> especially a man like this definitely is unisex if you are into unisex fragrances then i would recommend this as well as the black saffron but like i said i would recommend the gucci oud over black saffron only because i actually do enjoy wearing this and like i said if you like it just it smells like literally every single time i smell this thing i can just see like uh, a person who's super well dressed if it's a guy he's wearing a beautiful tailored suit okay and he just looks so put together and he just looks like he's got money now the black saffron i feel like yes in as much as it is unisex i feel like it's more masculine leaning masculine leaning compared to um the other fragrances that i have yeah and once again very strong which is why you do not need to use a, a lot of this i think with the um, the girl of now just because of the type of scent profile it is i think that's why i can pull off literally using it over my body the way i do but gucci oud and the black saffron they are way too potent and then the pure poison which is of course an impression oil of the um dior fragrance this is a floral balm okay floral balm if you like smelling like flowers like especially white flowers then something like this is for you personally i would say this is one of my least favorites only because i do not like fl floral based fragrances especially if it's white floral based fragrances i i feel like they smell a bit too mature for my liking and they smell like it's something that should be worn by an older demographic especially something like this i've smelled some white floral fragrances that definitely smell a lot more modern and all that but this for me is something i wouldn't wear only because it's not my vibe however if you love the scent profile but you just cannot afford the two million rand bottle of <laughs> of pure poison then boom i got you you're very welcome okay you are welcome so yeah overall i'm really really happy with impression oil as a company i think their products are amazing i actually feel like this is value for your money it really is i'm gonna actually try out a lot more from the the range that they have and i think the company itself is really dope the service is quite fast as well your delivery does not take that long so yeah every single thing i will definitely link everything in the description box down below hey don't forget to subscribe like the video if you guys have tried out perfume oils that you like please tell me in the comment section down below because i actually want to actually start collecting a lot more perfume oils thank you guys for watching this and like i said don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next episode of scent chick bye